This is our LED tube. And uh, basically what, what differentiates us from the rest of the pack is uh, that little sticker right there, uh, the UL classification sticker. That means you can put it inside your UL listed fixture and still maintain your UL mark. So, you know, um, if you're looking to save energy, first place to start is with your lighting. Um, we've got actually four systems. We have a 65, an 80, and a 120 gallon system. We have uh, vacuum tubes, which is uh, very, very efficient in high temperatures. They, these vacuum tubes heat the water and then it's pumped through a pump and pumped into the tank. We have two coils in our tank, a lower coil and an upper coil. And that coil is, just think of a copper tube that's spun around in a circle. And that's your heating element. It's very simple, very basic, using pumps, low energy consumption. So therefore, you're saving a tremendous amount of energy. These technologies have the potential for being some of the most environmentally benign in the world, in our, on our, on our planet, which has been misnamed Earth. It should be called oceans because 70 percent of our planet is covered by oceans. And using the power of tides and waves, we can move forward towards a sustainable reliable, affordable energy portfolio. Absolutely. Ice Energy is a Colorado-based company doing manufacturing in New York and deploying in California. And what we're dealing with is a problem in the grid associated with air conditioning during a peak event. And what we do is we make ice at night off peak. The grid is more when efficient and when it is cleaner and when it is much cheaper to produce electricity. So we put in anaerobic digesters on farms, so we are digesting manure, uh, primarily from dairy cows. And from, those manure, from that manure, we're creating renewable energy, we're making electricity. We represent energy efficiency technologies. They are combined heat and power systems and waste heat recovery. The first one is waste heat recovery on every industrial process, there is wasted heat. It is carbon neutral, and if you put a, a system on it, you can produce hundreds and hundreds and thousands and thousands of very clean megawatt hours. Combined heat and power is actually one power plant that produces electricity and thermal energy. And this is twice as energy efficiency as normal power that you get to your house, which comes off your local utility. Hydropower is our nation's largest renewable energy. It's about 60 to 75 percent of renewable energy in the United States. It's about 10, 7 to 10 percent of our electric generation. Uh, it comes in all forms, water power technologies, conventional to pump storage, to uh, hydrokinetic technologies of ocean tidal and in-stream. Solar photovoltaics have been around for decades, but now the technologies are being refined, uh, the panels are becoming more efficient, and the costs for designing and installing those systems um, have come down dramatically over the last couple of years, and they will continue to decline, making solar a viable option for more and more uh, and different kinds of electricity uh, consumers. I work for Gridwise Alliance, and we're looking at enabling technologies that will help us get renewables and energy efficiency on the grid, enable our grid to become more reliable and safer and have an ability for the consumers to make decisions about energy.